All right, this was the issue. I'm gonna use this coil as an example. I couldn't record it because I was in a pawn shop, so I didn't want to be recording in the shop. You know, it seemed kind of funny to be recording in, to be recording in a pawn shop, and why they wondering what are you doing. So anyway, this was the issue. I got a call. Uh, the unit wasn't cooling properly. Hot days, it really don't meet temperature. It runs all day. It may cool overnight when they come in the morning. It'll be cool, and um, but during the day it gets hot. So that was the problem. The system never, the system never caught got temperature. It always ran continuously. Unless it's overnight when the doors close, they close. They put it on 80 degrees and they get temperature one get in it stays constant running all day so as I say I'm using this as a template as a example I got a coil it's come out of Goodman I think but anyway uh, the presses I, when I got to the place I checked the presses press on the high side was generally right it's a it was a orifice this it was the same thing as this the orifice uh, temperature was generally right. I mean, the pressure was generally right. On the other side, it wasn't so right. It was pretty low. So, but I was, couldn't figure it out. I'm trying to figure out, is it contaminated? It kept on fluctuating. Temperature kept on moving up and down. So, like, is it contamination? Is it the orifice stuck? Is it, I just couldn't get it. And also, it was a horizontal. It wasn't a, it wasn't a vertical flow it was laid to the side make it a horizontal but I just couldn't figure out what was going on I'm like man this is very odd so I was thinking maybe there is the refrigerant mix he told me another guy worked on it and um he couldn't get it right he is still doing the same thing but I just couldn't figure out I'm like man why is these temperatures fluctuating why is it so sporadic you couldn't really get a good read on it but he said it, it, it catch temperature at night so I went in, I opened the air handler, you know, and um, took the bottom piece off, checked the coils. Coils looked fine, looked around, looked around, it looked fine. I mean, coils wasn't to check to see if the coils was clogged. Coils wasn't clogged, looked inside, on the back side of it, coils wasn't clogged. So, I'm like, the fans pulling air pretty good, I'm like, what's going on? So. I never took off the top piece of the air handler where the fan was at because the fan was running and was pulling good air. So I'm like, man. So I said, man, let me just check up here. I opened up the top and at, at first sight, I didn't really get it. I'm like, man, it's pulling good air, but I'm like, wait a minute, it's something, something's up here. And I noticed that the top metal piece of the coil I'm using this as an example it was like that so actually the air was passing through the coil too fast wasn't giving enough time for it to cool off the air to change temperature it wasn't getting a good temperature change because the air wasn't going through the coil it was passing straight by it so that was one of those odd things you know you don't really get I mean you may not experience yet but it happens apparently somebody took the top off it or the the screws came off and somebody tossed it not knowing or whatever there's no telling how how that please piece was displaced but that's what happened air was going through the coils too fast i replaced the top back placed the new top back on the on the coils and it ran perfectly so that's one of those odd things you may run into the field where you don't really get the get in school or you don't really learn unless you run into it you know that's one of those things thanks for watching